The interesting thing is that if you identify that a child has risk for autism, let's say at 12 months, and you decide that they should have you know, behavior therapy, it's, there's nothing harmful about the behavior therapy. It's just <laughs> teaching parents how to interact with their child better you know, or, or, you know, increase it. So there's no downside, even if the child was you know, not going to have autism, they're still probably going to benefit from the fact that they're spending more time with their parents and, and, you know, doing the exercises that are in the therapy. But if they were going to have autism, it is enormously beneficial on changing the course of the development of their brain and allowing them to be much less autistic, or maybe not even having autism at all, uh, as they grow up.